and welcome back to another video. This is Akshata Shetty and you're watching Being Aksh. So in today's video, we're going to be seeing what are the things that you should carry to your exam hall. Okay. So yes, due to the last minute rush, you might forget certain things that you do necessarily carry. So I am here through this video to remind you all about the things that you shouldn't forget while going to the exam. So without further ado, let's quickly jump into the video. Alright, the first thing is a mask and a sanitizer. Yes, though the corona has decreased to quite an extent, it is important that you carry a mask, preferably N95 mask for your safety. Okay, along with that carry a small bottle of sanitizer also for sanitizing your hands. Along with that, do not forget to carry with you a COVID-19 declaration form which will be available along with your admit card. Okay, take a printout of that, sign and submit it at the entrance of the venue. Right, this is related to the COVID part. The second thing is your admit card or the ID card. Yes, how can you forget the hall ticket or the admit card, whatever you call it as. Okay, please have an extra copy of your admit card and please keep it right away. Keep that in your bag so that you don't forget it. And along with that, please carry an identity card also, just in case they ask you for verification purpose. Usually ID card is not compulsory, but to be on safer side, please carry that as well. And where can you find your ID card? You can find that on your smash portal. Okay, you can download it and take a print out of that. Next thing is all your stationary items. May it be pen, pencil, eraser, sharpener, Whatever, whatever you want to carry, please carry ballpoint pens only, either blue or black and not gel or ink. I think that's the basic criteria for any board exam or any professional exam. So yes, please carry only ballpoint pens and also do not forget to carry a transparent pouch. And whatever you want, you carry by yourself and please do not borrow from anybody. This is again time waste and... See, again and again, you'll get diverted, speaking to others, asking others, hey, give me eraser, hey, give me scale. No, don't ask that. Whatever you want, you take it and use it. Bonus tip, do not carry either highlighters or a wiper. That's not allowed. Next thing is a water bottle. Again, here, please carry a transparent water bottle because when uh, I attended my last exam, a boy was actually stopped and he was not allowed to take his water bottle because it was a copper one. So that was not a transparent water bottle and he was not allowed to take it inside. So again and again, he had to ask the invigilator by disturbing him. So please, let's not do that. This is a very important thing because you're going to sit in the exam hall for about three hours. In this duration, you are supposed to be well hydrated so that you can recall what all you have learned. Now don't keep drinking the entire <laughs> water bottle. Otherwise, you'll have to get up and go to the restroom. So time will be wasted there so let's avoid that and just have a sip every once in a half an hour next thing is your calculators for practical subjects it's a mandatory item so please do carry that every day even if it's a theory subject it doesn't matter please carry that in your bag every day so that you don't forget when there's a practical subject and here again you're not supposed to carry scientific calculators instead carry only a simple basic 12 digit wala calculator the next thing is your spectacles yeah for all the chashmish people out there do not forget to carry your glasses otherwise you cannot concentrate and you cannot write clearly with blurry eyes, right? Your vision has to be clear. I didn't have this problem because I don't wear glasses. So yeah, my eyesight is quite good even after studying CS. So I'm really lucky for that. And uh, but yeah, for all the people who have a little weaker vision, please do not forget to carry your glasses. I know you're not going to forget that. But yeah, just in case, you know, due to the last minute rush, you might forget. So is just like a reminder for you. Next thing is again very important object that is your watch. Yes, I personally feel bad for forgetting my watch for my open book exam. I just don't know why I forgot that day. Maybe because that was my last exam and I was way too over excited. But uh, I literally had to repent because the wall clock was placed at the behind, okay, at the back. And I was sitting in the second bench. So each time for allocating time to a question, I had to literally turn back and see. 
and people who were sitting back and were like, oh God, why is she turning again and again? So, you know, it's a little irritating thing. So please do carry watches with you and Bluetooth devices are not allowed. So please wear a simple basic watch and this will actually help you to keep track of the time and finish your paper within three hours. And the last thing is my favorite because it is and eatable and please have a piece of dark chocolate before entering the exam hall because it has some scientific benefits too so yeah please grab a piece of chocolate and have it before you enter the exam hall and a bonus tip is carry your confidence along with you yes what else can match your confidence right so please be confident and write whatever you know even if you haven't studied about the topic please please write something on that maybe you will get one or two marks for that and you never know with that one or two marks you will get 40 and you might pass that's it guys carry all these things and a pinch of confidence and i'm damn sure that you will crack your exams with good marks okay so yeah this was all about it and do not forget to watch this video again before packing your bag for the exams okay wishing you all the good luck and see you super soon in my next video until then do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel bye bye guys take care